This is Hitler's Eagle's Nest. In the previous episodes of History Traveler and American Artifact, we were exploring this mountaintop retreat that was commissioned by Martin Bormann in 1937. Completed in 13 months using skilled Italian labor, this highly expensive project was completed just in time for Hitler's 50th birthday. Also known as the Kelstein House, this imposing structure that sits high above Berchtesgaden was rarely used by Hitler and due to its lack of strategic importance was passed over on the bombing raid of April 25th by the RAF. In the closing days of World War II, it wasn't Hitler or any of his minions who were sitting atop the Eagle's Nest. Rather, it was the men of the 101st Airborne Division and French 2nd Armored Division who were among the first to reach the Kelstein House. This structure, which once stood as a symbol of Nazi dominance, now stands as a memorial to those men and serves as a permanent reminder of the Allied victory over this evil regime. We've already focused on some of the souvenirs that were taken from the Eagle's Nest by the men of the 101st Airborne, but we've got a few more things to show, some of which we were able to bring with us and some that we just couldn't. had something here that I wanted to show while we are in the great room. Uh, this is an unpublished photo that Eric has in his archives, or rather this is a, a copy of the photo, uh, the, the originals at the museum. But here you can see, you know, a couple of soldiers that are lounging and relaxing in this very room right next to this fireplace. And uh, of course this is a very popular location, so we have quite a few people here today. But uh, you can just imagine. 1945, those guys at the end of the war, uh, finally having an opportunity to, to relax uh, right up here on the Kelstein Ridge at Hitler's Eagle's Nest. Several guys from the 506 got up here and they crawled up the mountain because the elevator was broken and um, the, the, probably the first thing they were looking for was Hitler's silver because they had heard about it. So they went into the kitchen and uh, my experience as someone who's handled a lot of the Hitler silver that's come out of the Eagle's Nest, most of the truly attributed pieces came from C Company 506. C Company 506 seemed to have been the first ones up here who actually got stuff, along with the French Second Armor. Two of those guys were um, a guy named Oberman, who took this spoon, along with many other pieces, and another guy named Muller, both C Company 506, and they both got large amounts of silver, but I bought one of each up here today. Um, first time they've been back since the end of the war, but very interesting, and of course I covered the symbol, the, the Nazi symbol, to be respectful of Germany's laws. Here's another photo that was taken here in the great room. So again, you can see these guys relaxing and lounging around this table. Uh, I think it's really neat here in the background in the windowsill. Here's some guy standing and, I don't know, looking out over the, the vista. And uh, that photo was taken right here. This room originally had a really long dining room table here. It was an alternate dining room. There was a series of chandeliers up there, and all those chandeliers had little individual lampshades. Now, one of those lampshades was taken by an American soldier. Much too fragile to bring back with me today, so we're going to show it to you back at the museum.
So back at the museum now, uh, we took the candlestick holder from the eagle's nest up to the eagle's nest, but um, I wasn't about to take this original beeswax candle with me just because it was so fragile and big and um, you know, but it, it, it came from the chandelier up there and we filmed up there. So I wanted to show you that it has actually a number on it here somewhere right here. And I don't know if that's a, um, a maker number or if it's just something to correspond with which chandelier it goes in. But the US vet that took this, he was in the Signal Corps and he, he actually took two of them and um, he made this base for it too so he could have them sitting at his house and um, a friend of mine had, uh, obtained these from his son and uh, pretty interesting artifact but I, I, I wanted to make sure I showed you know the whole thing with the candle um, you know and wasn't possible up at the eagle's nest so another thing we talked about while we were up at the eagle's nest was this lampshade and again I couldn't bring this with me uh, either because it's just so fragile it's it's literally falling apart and uh, it has a note saying it came from Hitler's house um, from the vet that took it and um, everything was Hitler's house to them they really didn't know um, but it actually came from the eagle's nest there's photographic um, photographs of this and it came from that long dining room that we were in and at the time they had a, sh a series of chandeliers in there that had these um, lampshades in them so um, just wanted to show you those those items we couldn't bring with us to Germany but um, wanted to show them to you here at the museum <laughs>